Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today we have a fun experiment for you for elementary physics. Um, you will need a large bucket and some objects, for example, a um, marshmallow, a grape, a nut, a quarter, and other assorted objects. Now, fill the bucket with water. Go ahead and turn it on. All right, fill the bucket with water to the top. All right, this experiment is found in Christian Kids Explore Physics by Bright Ideas Press, and we are learning about potential and kinetic energy. Now, the object, okay, for example, a grape, the mass of the object and how far it is above the bucket will determine how much potential energy it has because of the gravitational pull. And so we're going to be measuring how tall the splashes are, okay? And the bigger the splash, the more potential energy, okay? Potential energy is energy that you don't see, like this grape. It doesn't have any energy. It doesn't look like it has any energy. But if you hold it above this bucket, you will notice that it will change into kinetic energy that is moving. All right, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, now we're ready for our experiment. Let me do it. The first object that we are throwing, we are throwing all the objects, dropping them from the top of this um, ruler. And we saw that this splash was very, very small. Can you do that again? I'm gonna, wait, 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 stop. Okay. Ready, set, go. Okay, that splash was so small, it was probably less than one inch. All right, next in the line of objects uh, is the grape. So um, go ahead and drop it from the top. Okay, that was a little bit higher because the mass of the grape was more than the mass of the marshmallow. It had a larger splash. The next thing is the nut. Let's put it the same distance and splash. Okay, that one was a little bit less maybe than the grape. Okay. All right, the next thing up is the quarter. What do you think? Is it going to be um, more or less? It depends on how it falls. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and see. All right, it was more. The splash was probably about maybe two or three, probably three. Okay, three Five. inches? Five inches? Six inches. Okay, do the quarter again. Do the quarter again. Let's see how tall the splash is with the quarter, and it's because the mass of the quarter is much more dense than the mass ooh, of the nut or the grape. Okay, fabulous. Next in line, we have a pine cone. Now, a pine cone's really lightweight. Let's back up a little bit. Ooh, okay. Wow. All right, let's do that again. Um, it was a bigger splash than I envisioned. And maybe it's because it's wood. I thought, ooh, okay. No, no I think about five Wait, no. or six One, two, three, inches. Four, five, six, seven and a half. Seven and a half inches, okay. Next wow. in line is the banana. Let me back up. I'm envisioning it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Woo! Okay. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Did anybody measure how tall the splash? for the banana. Do it again. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, you need to do it. Um, the whole banana has to be above. There we go. Ready, set, go. Ooh. Okay, that went higher. The splash was higher than the entire ruler. It was absolutely higher. So the mass of the banana is much higher. The potential energy in that banana was more than the potential energy in the pine cone, the grape, or the nut, or the marshmallow for that matter. Last but not least is a can of baked beans. And who wouldn't want to throw that into a bucket of water? Begin, ready, set, go. Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A fun experiment to see the potential energy of different objects with different masses. I'm Susan Evans. 
from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching.